Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. I want to bring to you a short devotion on the life of Caleb. Caleb is an amazing person. He started his life well in the Lord. His midlife was exemplary. And if you look at the Bible in Joshua and Numbers, we can find that Caleb finished very strong in the presence of God. What was the key and the secret of Caleb's life? God himself testifies about Caleb that he followed God wholeheartedly. What an amazing man. He followed God wholeheartedly out of the entire generation. And it's so incidental that it is not only God who is speaking about Caleb, but three other people are speaking about Caleb. First is the testimony of Caleb himself that he said, I followed the Lord God wholeheartedly. Then Moses tells that and Joshua tells that about Caleb. What an amazing man. He started well. His midlife went on so wonderful and he finished in a very powerful way. How did he start? Now Caleb's life is first mentioned when the children of Israel crossed over the Red Sea, en route the promised land. God promised them a land flowing with milk and honey. But then there were the enemies staying in the land. There were people in the land. So we can find God asking Moses to send 12 spies into the promised land. So Caleb and Joshua were two of them. And they went into the promised land. But when they came back, Caleb and Joshua brought in positive report that with the presence of God, we can overcome the giants and take the land that God has promised us. But the other ten were melting in fear. Soon the camp of Israel was all in fear and they decided not to conquer the land, not to claim the promises of God. But Caleb said, the Lord has promised this and the Lord's presence is with us and we will conquer the land. Caleb trusted in the presence of God. Friends, when others saw the giants, Caleb saw God. Are you looking at the giants around in your life or is your eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus Christ, the perfecter and the author and the finisher of our race? As you listen to this word, if you look upon Jesus, if you look upon God, you will find strength. You don't have to look at the giants and get discouraged. Caleb trusted in the presence of God and we can have the presence of God every day in our life, every moment because God with us, Emmanuel, Christ has come down and his presence is there with us and we can experience that presence that Caleb had. And secondly, after this incident, God decided that he is going to destroy everybody above the age of 20 in the wilderness for the next 40 years. And only Caleb and Joshua are going to possess the promised land. Can you imagine Caleb is wandering in the wilderness with his people and every day approximately 70 people has to die every day for the next 40 years for them all to perish and the next new generation to possess the promised land. Caleb has probably seen the death of his parents, his brothers and sisters, his siblings and his cousins, his neighbors. Everybody is dying. And Caleb is telling Lord, if according to you, if we had gone and taken possession of the land, I would have been the leader of one tribe. But now I am just wasting my years in the wilderness. Nothing is spoken about Caleb during this time. But do you know what Caleb did? Caleb trusted in the purposes of God. Maybe you are going through a wilderness experience in life. Everything is going negative. The economy is falling. People are losing jobs. There is no much hope for the future. But trust in the purpose of God. God has a purpose for you. Just like God had a purpose for Caleb. And in the wilderness time, Caleb pursued. He endured the tough times, trusting in the purpose that God had for him. And today, maybe you are going through a wilderness time. You are going through a tough time. You can trust in the purposes of God and endure any difficult phase by the grace of God in your life. Moving forward, 40 years have passed by now. Caleb is 80 years old now. And only Joshua and Caleb and the new generation are ready to possess the promised land. They cross over the river Jordan. And some pockets of the promised land they have already occupied. But in other major areas, the enemies are still there. 
and then comes Caleb in Joshua chapter 14 verse 10 to 12 we find an amazing statement of Caleb he is 85 years old and he's telling I am still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out I am just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day you yourself heard that he said but the Lord helping me I will drive them out just as the Lord said Caleb is 85 years old and probably this is a time most of the people 99% of the people want retirement a good house lot of books and good friends but Caleb is telling I am not going to keep quiet I want to go for a conquest and I want that mountain that God had promised me then when I went to spy the land and I will claim my promises no matter what Caleb does, does he have strength now probably not Caleb trusted in the power of God this phase of Caleb's life and Caleb got what he wanted in the Lord friends maybe some of you are thinking to give up telling there is nobody to recommend you you have lost many opportunities in your life you are probably old and you cannot do much in your life but I want to tell you it is not over until God says it is over you can be productive even now. You can start a new chapter in the Lord by trusting in God and his promises. Let this word be an encouragement to you. Caleb trusted in God's presence. Caleb trusted in God's purpose. And Caleb trusted in God's power even when he did not have an ounce of strength. Will you trust God this morning? God still has a plan for you. God still has a purpose for you and God has his power at your disposal in the name of Jesus you can do great things for the glory of the kingdom of God you know why Caleb wanted to fight not for his own prosperity but for receiving the promises of God in his generation and this generation God can use you like a Caleb and we have the amazing power of the Holy Spirit with us we have the presence of Emmanuel God with us and God has a purpose for each and every one of you and you and I are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus I pray that God give you a new perspective to move forward and receive the promises of God and live for the purposes of God in your life and in your generation. May God richly bless you and may this be an encouragement for you to continue the good work in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. God richly bless you.